Go. Black people cannot just sit anywhere they want to in the bus. They have to sit in the back of the bus. If white people were already sitting in the front of the bus, the black person had to pay the fare, get off the bus, and re-enter the after that after the back door. Sometimes the bus driver just drove off and left them before they could get at, back on at the back door. If the bus filled up with people, the driver would ask a black person to move so he could re reposition the movable sign which divided the black and white section. <coughs> on December 1st, 1955, after a hard day at work, Rosa was riding the bus. Who's Rosa? That's Rosa. Rosa. Wait, which one's Rosa? Rosa Parks. Oh. This is Rosa Parks. <laughs> <laughs> riding the bus home when the driver asked her and three black men to move to make more room in the white section. The three men moved, but Rosa refused. A police officer came, arrested her, and took her to jail. she decided to stand up for her rights. Yes. She was tired of being humiliated and treated yes. unfairly. Yes. She was not the first yeah, person to refuse to move on a bus, but when the yes. event happened to our civil rights, to our civil rights leaders, knew they had found someone to champion their cause. Rosa was a person who was above reproach and people could not find fault with her character. A group was formed and 35,000 handbills were distributed calling for a boycott of the buses. This means the blacks were refused to ride the buses unless they were desegregated and they could sit anywhere in the bus and refused they did. For more than a year, 381 days, they boycott the bus. Rosa Parks was the mother of civil rights. She sacrificed liberty, the consequence of jail, and she brought freedom and peace to our world.